or are you needing to check on that, Laura? Absolutely. Um, just keep, we'll keep on admitting everyone. Okay, great. The more the merrier. Exactly, bring it. And um, I'll just go ahead and get started. I have a feeling we'll, we'll still get some participants, but I don't want to hold anyone up. So um, let's start so, the recording. And um, uh, yes, just did that. And so um, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. We are delighted to be able to offer you this training on the imagining of a prosperous 2021 creating a vision board for success. The webinar is brought to you today by MCSC Women's Business Center. We are a nonprofit business center serving entrepreneurs in Slow, Kern, and now Monterey counties. It is sponsored by Bank of America, and Bank of America likes to support entrepreneurs like you in our community. Today, we have Margaret with Bank of America here to say a few words. So I will let her do that. Hi, everyone. And I just want to say, wow, thank you for uh, being here. Uh, congratulations for taking your, your position or your job or your, um, I guess your businesses to the next level um, by working um, with MS, uh, CS Women's Business Center. So we just are extremely proud of you. Um, we love to uh, support these webinars because we too are dedicated to the region and to helping create conditions for fair and equal access to economic opportunity. So kudos to you all and enjoy. Excellent. Thank you so much, Margaret. You are welcome. So um, we offer no cost one-on-one -on -one business consulting with professionals in finance, marketing, e-commerce, and management. We also offer at MCSC consulting on COVID-19 resources and reopening requirements. Our, our contact information will be on, is on the screen now, and we will continue to enter various information pieces in the chat box for you. And right now, I would like to, uh, I would like to introduce Carrie Escunchen for, I would like to thank you, Carrie, for presenting today. And I want to give you a little introduction because I think you're absolutely marvelous. Carrie is a life and career purpose coach near San Luis Obispo, California. If you're wondering what you're really meant to be doing with your life and career, you're in the absolutely right spot. She specializes in helping conscious individuals achieve their dreams, discover what's next in their life, and help create a life that they love. As a seasoned management and life coach for over 20 years, she's helped countless individuals, groups, and management teams reach or exceed their goals. Always looking for cut through tools for creating a life of meaning, purpose, and achievement. She shares her advanced studies in psychology and her 12 plus years working with some of the hottest high technology companies in Silicon Valley to helping you create greater change to help you connect your purpose and passion to a paycheck. We are lucky to have her here and I'm delighted that she was able to do this special training for you today. You're in for a treat and I'm just gonna leave you with this quote, which is my favorite one that she says, I specialize in helping conscious individuals achieve their dreams, discover what's next in their life and create a life they love. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Carrie. Thank you, Laura. And I just want to say thank you to Mission Community Services for having me here today and Margaret for um, Bank of America sponsoring the event today. I have had so much fun putting this together and I'm hoping that each and every one of you who are showing up here today and possibly, are we going to be recording this so that others can see it later? And those of you who are, who are um, viewing this later um, find a lot of meaning and usefulness out of this. I can just tell you that vision boarding, visioning in itself and vision boarding have been been one of my most powerful tools to move my life and my business forward. 
So how many of you have actually created a vision board? And I'm going to flip through. So keep your hand up. Okay. Maybe it's been a little while since you've created something, but it looks like, keep your hand up, please. There we go. Great. So a few of you have done it. So we all do vision boarding. Thank you so much. We all do vision boarding a little bit differently. And I guess I fine tuned my skills of doing this. Um, they originally gave, gave me an hour and a half and I said, no, 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 let's do it in two hours because I really want you to have an opportunity not only to make a vision board, but for you to come away with having connection with the other uh, men and women on the call so that you can begin to craft. I like to say, it's not just about inspiration, but it's about moving your life forward. So you're gonna be not only, and, and I, if, for those of you who have done vision boards, you'll realize that some of it is a gestalt, like you're like, oh, right, it's really clear what it is that's, that's up for me. And others of you will go, well, what does that mean? You know, I have this image that's speaking to me and yet, what does it mean? And I can tell you, I have my vision board in my back and I will show you in just a moment, a little bit closer up. And it, my vision board that I made possibly five years ago still speaks to me. It still has things that it wants to share. And I'll say a little bit more about that in just a moment. So for right now in the chat, if you could please put your first name and what is your intention for our time together today? Mm, cool. Okay, so just briefly, so I can kind of flip through it and I can get kind of an idea on who's on here and you can get an idea who's on here as well. We have about 28 people on the call today. And we, like I said, we'll have an opportunity to, I'm gonna take you quickly through the drive of creating a vision board and then we'll have an opportunity to do some sharing. So, um, okay, Allison, great. And your intention. You can just put that in there too. That helps me gear it too. So as I'm, uh, like I was saying, so I'm not just giving a presentation to a black a blank screen, but I'm actually able to uh, tailor the presentation to who's here. Direction and motivation for the coming year, says Mary. Very good. Then you are on the right spot and beyond. To learn something new and get some direction, says Michelle. Yes, you will. You'll find some direction here. And take a look, Elena says, to what is wanting to come through me in time for expansion. This is a really powerful time right now. I know we've been going through COVID times and you know many people have been struggling and yet this is a really powerful time for us to go within and say what's possible in our life and our business and start to create your life blueprint. Ooh, I like that, says Marilyn uh, for 2021. Great. Um, Beautiful. I love this. And Connie says she's been using images in her work for many years with clients at Santa Clara University and interested in learning how to access online resources to create vision boards. Yes. So um, I had mentioned, but you may not have heard this early on. Um, we will be, I'll, I will let you know how you can do it if you are at home and you have magazines around, but if you don't have magazines, it's okay because I learned <laughs> Um, how to create an online vision board and I did it in a half an hour today. It turned, so it turned out pretty good and I'll show you what that looks like in just one moment. Figured out what to do with my life after retirement. Right, and made a vision board 30 years ago and it worked. Well, yeah, it's time for a new vision board. <laughs> okay, great. So I'm gonna look through these a little bit later as I, um, but I just want to say thank you so much for being willing to share what's up for you. And would you like to know how you can get the most out of our time here together? Of course. Okay. I'm going to call it, these, these are uh, tools that you can use in your life and in your business. So let's see, I'm going to figure out how to do a, a screen share here. Screen share. Ooh, I love it. Okay. So full screen. Can you see where it says tune into your intention yeah. as we go along this journey? Yes. Yes. And my, now my screen's gone blank. <laughs> I have a new large screen. So I like to say as we're going along our journey, I might need to switch this out. I went blank screen for a second. Um, 
There we go. So tune into your intention is one of the ways, and this is in life as in, as in being here today and turn up your participation. So one of the ways in which I do that is I actually turn off my um, devices so that I'm here present with you and also take action. So like I said, it's not just a, about um, the inspiration, though I am gonna be inspiring you and you're gonna be inspiring yourself today. And I'd like to share with you, for those of you who, have, who haven't done a vision board, I'm going to share with you the, the possibilities that can happen. So this is Courtney. And Courtney was my personal assistant a few years back. And she had the audacity to leave me to go live in the British Virgin Islands. So as a result, as you can see on the vision board there, she um, decided that, well, wouldn't I like to go live someplace else, live on a sailboat? And that's exactly what she did. And she found love there. And then I was, I was going to share with you, this has been my vision board that I've had up there for a number of years. And for those of you who know my family, you'll see that it is been a few, has been a few years since I've done it um, because my children look younger there. But the, what I did is I basically said, let's create a vision board that is not only a representation of what I want to create in my business, but what I want to create in my everyday life. And as a result of this, you'll see on the far left-hand side, it says create a Bali pilgrimage. And so um, as a result of desiring to um, be in nature and um, create a greater reverence for our planet um, and to connect women on a transformational journey, I had no idea how to do it. But at the time, um, and I've since then done numerous um, present or um, transformational journeys around the world. Um, but this was my singular um, notion where I was like, that's what I want to do. And that's what's possible for you. When you get clear about what it is that you want to create, it's amazing. So I like to say, you just need to know the what, you don't need to know the how for right now. So I'm going to come out of that. So it looks like when I come back to you, I have a, I still have a minutes to get my screen back on. So we'll just take a deep breath. We'll call it being really sexy in between. <laughs> so I just wanted to give um, you an opportunity to see some of what's possible when you begin to create these boards. And um, hold on one moment. First, before we go to make a board, I like to say it's a great opportunity for us to get clear, to do a heart math exercise for us to get clear about what we want to create. And then we'll go into how to find the images, all of that wonderful navigating. Um, sometimes people get a little concerned about, well, but I've, if, I don't know how to do these creative processes. And so I'm going to begin to um, help you um, navigate those roads. So we're about a quarter after, that's good. Um, right on right on track. Um, so it's an intentional tool that I've been using for over eight years. I was trained as a dream builder coach with Mary Man and Morrissey. And since then I've been using just visioning exercises to help men and women to get really clear about what they want to create in their lives and their businesses. Because I see it as a blending. There's no reason why you need to say my business is over here and my life is over here. Why not create a lifestyle business that you can begin to say, just like I did. I took a group of women to Bali on a retreat um, and, and I got paid good money to do it. So while I won't be able to share everything that I know about um, visioning and, and creating a business and life that you love, I'll be able to take you over the next hour and 45 minutes through a quick drive so that you can have a finished product that you can put up. And this is, this is my one pet peeve. I have told people, I said, and it doesn't do you much good if you just tuck it underneath your bed. So um, it's, it's great for actually engaging the process of continuing to review what your vision is. Um, so why vision board? Well, it's a powerful way to reprogram our subconscious mind for what's possible, right? Our brains are actually programmed to look for the danger on the horizon, but instead we're giving the amygdala a new role and we're saying what's possible. So we're scanning the horizon for the opportunities, the people, the circumstances that begin to, let's call it resonate with 
what we put on our vision board. It's also like what I like to say, it's like a Google search box so that the billions of pieces of information that have come across on a daily basis, your brain is able to say, oh, let's, I'll give you the example of when I went to go do the, um, the retreat um, for Bali. I basically told my best friend, I'm, by the way, I'm going to be going to Bali. And she says, well, I'm going too. And I said, well, then let's just do it. Let's, let's bring a bunch of women that we love and adore to go on a transformational journey to Bali. And then it was born. So um, you have an idea, the opportunities present themselves and you say, yes. So, um, so the problem is often we don't um, pause long enough to ask ourselves what we want. And I, when I speak to large groups of women, I'll say, um, I'll ask them three questions. I'll say, do you have a clear vision of what you want to create? And the second question I'll ask, and do you have an action plan to get you there? And are you excited every morning when you wake up? And that's one of the things that this helps you to do. It helps you to get really clear about what lights you up. And maybe you've never asked yourself this question. And um, so that's the, the problem. We don't pause long enough. And here's an opportunity for you to pause, ask yourself what would I love and to, to move into your dreams. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go through that. So who's ready to launch in and explore what you wanna create? So I'm gonna ask you in the chat to just say, I'm all in so that I know that you're here, you're present, you're engaged. And then I'm gonna show you a little bit about, yeah, there you go. All in, love to see that. Thanks, Maddie. Thanks, Michelle, Susanna. Good to see you there. So I'm gonna sh share my screen again. So I'm gonna give you kind of an overview of what we're gonna be doing. Let's see. There. Okay, it's good to see that you're all in. I'm going to just share this. Okay. So in just a moment, like I said, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the, the ways in which we move ourselves forward and some of the ways in which we inhibit ourselves. It's a great way to think of both things. So there's a story. And so maybe, ha has anybody heard of river read thinking? You can just put your hand up if you have. So this is a, a really pivotal concept as you um, launch into your business. So I apologize, it just flipped off. Okay, well, without, without the presentation at the moment, I'll, I'll do this at the, at the break. Um, is the concept behind river read thinking is think of an elephant who um, when they're young, they are tied with, they are tied to a post. Their leg is tied up and, and they struggle and they struggle and they can't seem to move forward because they have this rip, they have this rope tagged around their leg. And then imagine as that elephant gets older and older and possibly the um, rope gets thinner and thinner. Maybe they just at the tail end as the, as the elephant gets a little bit older, um, they just maybe do a thin little reed uh, against his foot. And yet that elephant will think that it's still tethered to the post. And how do we get in our day-to-day -day life and we think, well, this is the way it's always been. This is the way it will be going forward. So when we begin to do this visioning process, we begin to open the doors of what's possible for us and in our life. So thank you so much for saying all in. You may not even notice exactly what you were all in for. So because I can't get my PowerPoint back up right now, I'm basically going to share with you, this is a five-step process. So the first thing is we're going to go through visioning. So that'll be about the next 20 minutes. Then we're gonna be gathering the images. And for those of you um, who have, yeah, 
Interesting. Okay, so some of you may be feeling a little bit stuck as we, as like that elephant, right? Um, and um, so then we're, what we're going to do is we're going to be gathering the images. And for those of you who have magazines at home or cards or stuff like that, great. For those of you who want to learn how to do vision boards online, I found it's uber easy. I found a way to do it on um, Canva. So I'll be teaching you how to do that. And so we're going to put the images down. Then we're going to have a moment where we say, okay, now I'm going to kind of understand what the images, you know, they're all put together. What are possible action steps I can do to move it forward. And then I'm going to give you a chance to share with your peers here. I think we're going to do breakout rooms because we have so many people and you're going to be able to share what are those next action items that you want to do to move things forward. And I'm still adding people to our group here, adding, admitting people. So um, who's ready to get started to get visioning? Awesome. So the process of visioning and this may be a little bit different than anything you've ever uh, experienced before, is it, it's an internal process. The process I use anyway, is a process that I've um, garnered from, um, I access your heart's intelligence and it's garnered from a process um, that HeartMath created. So they created a process that helps you to, it's scientifically validated to help you to, um, de-stress and um, create a greater sense of creativity and brainstorming. So I use that as an access point um, to get you to imagine differently because just to, if we were just to be left in our head, then you might actually have the same life like that elephant did because you're tethered to the same way of thinking. So we've already talked about why the vision is important. Well, then let's get started. So wouldn't you like to have greater focus and clarity and forward momentum in your life? So to, visioning is one of those processes and it helps you to say no, like a clear no to what doesn't serve you. And it ha helps you to have a clear yes to what does. And it allows opportunities. Like I was saying that Google filtering device for the opportunities, the ideas, the resources to magically show up in your life. They magically, but it's actually your brain working for you. And so you put yourself back in the equation. You begin to ask yourself, what would I love? What would I desire? And if you don't know, that's okay. You're in the right spot because basically you'll go forward the next 365 days going forward. And instead, wouldn't you rather have a clearer picture about what you want to create? So I like to um, dispel the belief. People, many people say, well, I don't know if I have imagination. And I just want you to know very few of us actually process in the way like movie images moving forward. Most often it's like snapshots of information or maybe it's a bodily sensation or it's an image or a recollection of someone. But I'm gonna give you an, an opportunity at the moment. Imagine for a moment, like if you put your hand out that I gave you a, a, a slice of a lemon. And then imagine that you were to take that lemon and you were to squeeze it into your mouth. My guess is many of you, your taste buds went, mm. now you may not have tasted the actual lemon, but your taste buds probably opened up. So all of us have imagination, that ability to, to imagine um, images or sensations. And today we're going to be looking at four primary areas. And like I said, if I had my presentation up, I would sh actually show those four areas to you. But for right now, you can write them down. The first one is health and well-being. And then the second one is connection and relationships. The third one is time and money freedom. In other words, what would you be doing with your time and your money if you had the ability, which you do, to spend it in the ways that you want to, like the hobbies that you want to pursue, et cetera. And then the fourth area is career and creativity. And my presentation is coming back up. So those are the four areas that we're gonna to begin to explore today. And it's nice to have them on a piece of paper so that you can go, oh, right, okay. These are kind of the images that I'm gonna to wanna to be looking for. So, let me see if I can actually get the presentation back up. Mm -hmm. 
I think we're just going to leave it for right now because it seems like it's struggling. So the four areas, again, we're going to be looking at health and well-being. We're going to be looking at connection and relationships. The third is time and money freedom. And the fourth is career and creativity. And you'll find that generally things kind of go into those categories. And like I said, we're going to access our heart's intelligence in just a moment. So I'd like for you to find a quiet space. And like I said, if you want to shut off your device so that you won't be um, bugged. And I'm going to have you um, go into your heart space. So you can put all of the items down um, for the moment. And one of the things that's important as you do this is to not edit. In other words, give yourself an opportunity to go, well, what, what, what do I love? What would I like to create? And you'll get in a moment to just write that down and then we'll begin to search for some of the images. So we're gonna go into our heart space because what happens is our heart space actually has hundreds of times more energy than actually even our brain. And it gives us an ability to look at things a little different. So trust the process, no editing. And in a moment, you'll write it down. So first put your hand over your heart. And begin to think of a time in your life when you felt a deep sense of love and appreciation. Maybe it's for a special someone or might even be an animal companion. Whatever brings you into a deep sense of love and appreciation. And you take a deep heart breath. And you begin to ask yourself, hmm, what? What I love, what would I love to do, be, and have in my life? What would I love to have? Would I love to have more connection? What that feels like for you? Would I like to have more financial resources or freedom? Maybe a greater sense of vitality greater health and well-being and begin to feel into what that feels like in your heart and in your body. And even the pictures that start flicking across. Maybe you'd like to have greater creativity or feeling a deeper level of contribution, like that your work matters. So taking a deep heart breath. What would you like to have? Maybe it's that ability to have a meaningful career that connects you to your passions and your purpose and impact. What does that feel like? What does that look like? Maybe you'd like to have a comfortable home. What does that feel like? What does that look like? Or maybe if it's, it's a zippy new car that you can drive around in style and comfort. Or a wardrobe that makes you feel luxurious. Take a deep heart breath and ask yourself, what would I love to have in my life? And then begin to ask yourself, what would I love to do? Maybe I'd love to spend more time with friends and family. Maybe it's even more time with your animal companions. And begin to ask yourself, like, what does that look like when I spend that time with those people? What does it feel like to be able to do what I love? And begin to imagine what that feels like in your body. To be able to go on adventures, to travel, to take that time to do what you want with your time and your freedom. Maybe it's exercising, dancing. Maybe it's learning a new skill like 
learning a new language, taking a dance class, finding ways in which you can express yourself online and in your business. So taking a deep heart breath. Maybe there's a project that you've been wanting to work on for a very long time and yet you put it to the side, like writing a book, taking your business online. What would you love? How would you like to express your unique talents? Maybe ways in which you can give back to your community. Taking a deep heart breath. And then begin to ask yourself, but how would I like to be while I'm doing and having all of these things? Maybe it's having an increased sense of joy and connection or peace and clarity or inner strength and courage to go after what you want. Or let's stir in a little bit of playfulness, a little bit of creativity, balance and ease. How would you like to be as you're doing this? And so taking another deep heart breath and asking yourself, what would I love to be, do, and have? And I'm going to invite you to roll your shoulders, wiggle your fingers, begin to feel your feet on the ground, and begin to write down what images are coming up for you images, sensations. I had to mute all of you for a little bit, so I'll unmute. I want to know if there's any questions, you can put it in the chat. Now that I have everybody muted and can't get you off mute. Oh, and Laura, thank you so much. In the chat, Laura put the four areas, time, money, freedom, career and creativity, health and well-being, and connection and relationship. So beginning to capture what came up for you, and I'm going to give you about another five minutes to capture. So just notice what's coming up for you, and maybe it's that, that little gremlin on your shoulder that says, well, you don't know how to do that, and that's okay. Remember, we don't need to know the how at this point. We just need to know the what. And if you get stuck, if the middle men mental chatter comes back up, go back to your heart space, taking a deep heart breath, and acknowledging something that you love and appreciate. found a way to bring us back on so I'm not, now I can have interaction with y'all. So if you have any questions, put it in the chat. allowing whatever images and maybe even asking if you start having like some thoughts like oh I'd like to be able to go on like one of these transformational journeys that Carrie's talking about then begin to ask yourself a level of specificity like where would I like to go maybe I'd like to well, what would you like to experience I can tell you that everybody's unique and maybe there's that something, a skill that you've always wanted to learn and yet you've never given yourself permission. So 
for another couple minutes. And what you may actually begin to notice is that there may be some, some things that begin to come together. Patterns emerge. For example, on mine, I began to write, well, I enjoy hiking in nature. <laughs> And I love spending time with my family and my friends. So I thought, oh, hikes in nature, traveling to Sedona, among one of the places I've desired to go to and been. Or maybe it's creating transformational experiences or whatever. So begin to see if the pieces start to coalesce into, into a different picture, like how you can create an elegant mood. And remember, we'll come up with action steps later. You don't need to figure that part out yet. So one more minute. Noting any sensations that come up for you. I'm flipping through and seeing all your beautiful faces. <clears throat> All right. So my next question for you, does anybody need any more time? Please put your hand up if you do. As I flip through the screens. Okay, great. It'll become a little bit clearer also as we start going through the images. So there's two different ways in which I know to make vision boards. One is to take your magazines and you start clipping through them. And another way is to do it online. So for those of you who wants to learn how to do it online with Canva, yeah, if you can just kind of like show me your, there we go. Yeah, so, okay, a few of you. <clears throat> I will show you in just one moment how I was able to put together a quick vision board and I'll probably go back and modify it a little bit within a half an hour. And that was basically um, flipping through some images. And I said, hmm, what is it, what is it that delights me? And uh, so I'll be showing you. For those of you who want to just take the next half hour to um, rifle through your magazines, you're certainly welcome mm -hmm. to do that. And you can begin mm -hmm. to find those images that are speaking mm -hmm. to you. So Vision boards have this ability to oh. not. I'm gonna let's see if we can <laughs> mute. Hold on a second. Mute all. There we go. So it sounds like somebody is having a discussion. So um, vision boards are both that confluence of images and words, inspirational words. And so I'll show you online where you can find both of those and um, to create something. So for somebody who's just wanting to do the magazines, um, mark it for 415 to come back to here. And for those of you who wanna learn how to do this online over the next half hour, let's dive in. So I'm going to get find my Canva. So Canva is the um, online process that um, that I've used that I found really, really helpful. Um, and how many of you have used Canva up until now? I see Leslie and Connie. OK, even for those of you who haven't, I see uh, Susanna has for even for, for those of you who aren't real um, Okay, so we're saying here online, please. Yes, online, online. Okay, so Michelle hasn't, how, okay, how do you spell it? I'm gonna write it in here, C-A-N-V-A. And you can get a um, inexpensive, um, you can get it for free. I chose to um, pay a little bit for it. And I'm gonna do a screen share so you can see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you see this image that I've created right here? 
Yeah. Okay. So what I did, and I'll share with you in just one moment how to go about doing it. In the meanwhile, you can begin to look for Canva online, which is C-A-N-V-A. And you, like I said, you can just get a free um, online subscription. And what I did is I began to, I pulled up a grid pattern, found some images that I liked, including um, some that I had on my um, desktop. And I put images and words in here to help me realize, you know, what it is that's important for me. And like I said, that took about a half an hour. So you want to learn how to do that in, in just shorter than, it'll probably take me five, 10 minutes to teach you how to do it. So um, if you can go on to Canva, and I'm going to give you a moment to do that if you'd like to do that. For those of you who choose not to do Canva, I'm actually going to share you share with you another thing. I'm going to sh um, uh, you can actually go online. Well, in fact, I can actually show that. Um, I'm going to share the screen again. You can actually go online if you don't feel like going on Canva. I'm on a Mac, and I can hit Command Shift Four, and it magically gives me a little um, let's call it an area that I can pull and take a picture and it becomes up as a little, it put, comes up as an image and then I can share things or um, save them as an image. So if you're on a um, different computer, you can just look it up on the Google search box. How do I create a, a screen capture or a picture online? So I'm gonna take that one to the side. And I'm gonna do stop share for a moment because I wanna be see, see all of your beautiful faces. Has everybody who wants to get on Canva able to get on Canva? If you can just, maybe we'll do it a different way. For, put in your name in, your, in the chat box if you're struggling with getting on Canva right now. Oh, and the one thing that Laura was mentioning too that um, MCSC, host classes on mastering Canva, which is um, one of those things that I've used time and time again in creating my flyers and, and uh, my online presence. Um, so Jan, looks like you might be struggling to get onto Canva. Um, so Jan, can you take yourself off of mute? We'll see what we can do about getting you online. Actually, you know what, Laura? Um, could I ask that, um, that you pair up with Jan to see if she can get her online with Canva? See, I lose, I lose you when I try to open Canva. Huh. Oh, it, it's, um, splitting the screen. So, um, she wants to still be able to see the images of everyone. And so, yes, I will, I will pair off. Okay. That'd be awesome. Thank you, my dear. So everybody okay. else, everybody else is cool with getting on, on um, Canva. And if you are, if you're struggling with that, then please put your name in the chat. Oh, let's see. And the chat is at the very bottom of the page in this middle and it says, well, chat. Okay. So I'm going to share with you um, once again, the share screen and we're going to make it, we're going to take it from the very, mm -hmm. um, from Canva as a blank screen. So let me do a, a share screen for a moment. Okay. I got it. All righty. Um, so I had it. where'd it go? <laughs> okay. So I um, had it and now it's gone. Well, you know, if as long as you can find, if you can be on Canva. Um, so, I mean, it disappeared as soon as you did touch something there. I don't know where it went. Let's see. Okay. Uh, now I can't see you. I don't seem to be able to see you and do it at the same okay. time. I think I'll, I think, I'll just listen to you. That's, that's what I was just going to suggest. Just listen in. <clears throat> um, so when you go up to the top of Canva, you'll say create a new design. It's that um, beautiful, for, in my screen, it's a purple button. Mm. You're going to do a, a custom size. The just a regular size um, is eighteen hundred by twenty four hundred pixels, and you can create a new design. It's going to give you 
a blank screen. It's a regular eight and a half by 11. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the elements on the far left-hand side, it says elements right here. Can you see my screen where it just, it says just a blank screen in the middle? If you could just nod your head if that's. Mm -hmm. Elena, I can see your face. Can you see, just see my blank screen here? Yes. yes. Awesome. So we're gonna to go to elements and in the search elements, we're gonna to go to grid or grids. And you can choose, I like to use as many grids as possible because I like to use lots and lots of pictures. So I scroll down and I'm like, how can I find, I like, <laughs> I like this one. I like the one where there's, no, that's probably not gonna give me enough images. I'm gonna one, two, three, four. Um, <clears throat> let's do this one. Um, and so, why did it not allow me to do that? I'm gonna do a different one. So we have, in this case, we just have four pictures because I can't get it to do the, the one I liked it. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three, four. Um, and so what you can do is you can begin to um, look up photos over here. And if you had some ideas that came up for you, like give me an idea of what came up for somebody that you were excited um, to play with. Travel. Travel. Where would you like to travel to? Portugal. Okay. So you might look up Portugal. And if you have something, anything else, like do you want to, what do you want to do in Portugal? I want to go on the food tours. Ooh. Okay. Nice. For Portugal food. Ooh, this one. <laughs> I, like, I like this one. So let's put, I'm just going to hold on to it and I drag <laughs> it across. There we go. That looks like some great Chipino. It's, okay, who's next? <laughs> what other thing do you want to put on your board? If you can just ask to unmute. Okay, maybe I'll share with you. Uh, what a new car. You want it? Okay, what kind of car? I want a gray Range Rover. Gray Range Rover. Let's see if it'll allow me. Nope. Okay, so this is a great example. I'm going to take it off of share. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my browser and I'm going to get a new tab. And I'm going to look up, there's a wonderful, um, uh, what do you want to call it, um, place. It's called Splash Images. And these are free images and it's called Unsplash, excuse me. And I'm actually going to share that with you in just one second. So screen share. So it's called Unsplash. So these are free images. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to do a gray range rover. What I love about this site mm -hmm. is because it's free <laughs> and the fact that um, you can find, you can fine tune the images that you're looking for. So I found the range. Mm -hmm. You like that one, Janelle? Okay, great. We're going to download for free. Wow. And then edit no we don't want to edit so download for free and then it goes into you know where to find your um your images correct as they're downloaded so um what other images does somebody want we're making a collaborative one so i'm going to actually grab that image We'll go back over. I'm going to have to unshare. It's, you know, this, this, um, <clears throat> whenever you do uh, this process, you have to re screen share. So I'm going to go back to Canva and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to do upload. <sighs> and I'm going to look for upload media. 
on my device. I'm going to find my Range Rover picture. So it was, oops, it was Resense. Oh, maybe it was in download, excuse me. So you can find pictures online. You can find pictures even on your own. It's not allowing me to, to find that picture. Um, and you might be able to even find, like I said, they have tons of pictures. Um, actually on there. So um, maybe we'll just say Range Rover. So I'm gonna give you a, a, some time, we'll say SUV. So we'll put that in one of the boxes, whatever makes sense. Um, so, that's how you find the pictures. Any questions about that aspect? Okay. And then um, we're going to go back over it a little bit later and we're going to do elements. We're going to find ways in which we can like, I happen to like, let's see, you can just do squares or hearts or there's a whole thing with shapes, you know, you can say what it is that you want to put in there, but I like to use the shapes. So I might put a circle right in the center and I'm gonna change the color. Can you see the circle in the middle? Just mm -hmm. say yes, yeah? Yes. Okay, you can change the colors right, going right here. I want a pink one because I like pink and I want words. So I might realize that there's an inspiration that I like. So I like to just use these um, up here where it says do a subheading and I'm going to put it up there. What, sh what should we say? Should we say 2021? So I just double click on it 2021 and I bring it up here. And let's say if you want to even find some inspiration. So I would go to um, photos and I'm gonna say inspiration quotes. And you can grab something and I'll say, yes, you can, <laughs> right? So you can just flick through here. And so, Actually, in the time that we have, do more of what makes you happy. I like that one too. So maybe I'll switch that and drop that down a little bit so we can actually see. So those are the three elements that I think you're going to find helpful is to put a few images on your page, maybe make a little bit of a quote, and you can use your elements to begin to drag across text as well. So I'm going to give you, let's say, till 4.15 and then we're going to do a check-in and then I'll give you a little bit more time. And if you need some help, if you can just put your name in the, um, in the chat. Any questions at the moment? Okay, how do we get black? Okay, here we go. Struggling to get in Canva, we'll show down more to this issue in photos. Mm -hmm. Connie, actually, you can use your own um, pictures if you'd like online. Um, okay, Elena. Okay, first of all, um, I have create design on top, only sign up and log in. Okay, so Marilyn, we can have a conversation um, at the break. For those of you trying to see Carrie and see Canva at the same time, Elena says, you might try escape key or another key to get the zoom screen to shrink a bit so you can see your browser. So I may have been in full screen for you. If you are on Zoom in your browser, you might need to open Zoom or Canva in another window, right? I, like a new browser. And if you um, and if you do need to log in or sign up in Canva, you don't have to have an account. Just sign up for the free one. Exactly. Um, Connie, are you still struggling to get onto Canva? 
you can take yourself off mute. Okay. And experiment with Canva later. Great. Just go online and pick up images that speak to you and begin to save them and save them. And Linda says, I'm going to work on this offline. Okay. Thank you for the suggestions of Canva and Unsplash. And the size again on Canva is 1800. I'm going to put this in here. 1800 by 2400, which is just eight and a half by 11, pretty much. Experiment with Canva later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. pretty, right. And Laura Edwards says, yeah, if Canva isn't working for you right now, this was just an option. You can feel free to cut out your magazine pi pictures or surf <laughs> the web for pictures that represent your image. And I think what I'm noticing is that it was really easy if you begin to get specific. Like I looked up women dancing and then I was able to find women um, dancing Zumba. So get as specific as possible when you're looking up your images and save all the images to one place. Like I save them in pictures so that I can begin to attach them to a virtual or a physical mm -hmm. board. That's what's really fun about placing them on the board so they start to make sense to you. Okay, so the question about how do we get to the elements? And I'm doing my magazine old fashioned way. Beautiful. Yeah. Just find your own images, whatever you have around. Maybe it's pieces of mail that have come in. Maybe it's cards that people have given you. Um, we as women have a whole bunch of images that we can choose from, right? So I'm going to show you how to get onto elements for those who are interested. I'm going to go back. So on the far left hand side of Canva, we have um, templates. Um, I chose not to use templates. I did it differently. And we have elements is the fourth one down. So yeah. What I'm looking for, I can't get to this page. I'm on the home page and it's asking me welcome and then to create a design. And it has a whole different look than what you're showing to me. And I can't get to that particular so screen. Okay, cool. So I'm you're, here. Yeah. You're on welcome. So yep. go, go up to create a design. Okay. And you're going to do, I like to just say start custom size is 1800 by 2400. Oops, excuse me. I'm going to do 1800 there, 24 here. Create a new design. Create a design. And then you'll see um, these different elements. And I like to start with elements and add for grids. And you'll see a whole bunch of different ways in which you can begin to put pictures together. I kind of like this one. Thank you. Uh-huh. And then you can go to your photos and drag them across into those things. And then elements, I like to go back to, I like hearts. Make sense? Mm-hmm. I don't like the color black though. So I like red heart. And so just so that you don't feel like you need to get it completed in the next 15 minutes, I'm just going to give you a chance to do some creativity. And if you do need any assistance, excuse me, then please put your name in the chat and we can help you out as we go through it. But like I said, finding a level of specificity seems to help. Just like, uh, was it Janelle was saying Range Rover Gray? Hmm. Even if you're having some difficulties finding an image, then let me know that as well because I can help you search it. Just 
I love your, I love the sense of uh, concentration we're having here. I think I'm going to make some music for you all. Um, I, I actually have a question. Sure. Um, hi, I, I came late. I lost track of time. Um, what is it that we're doing? If I'm yeah, still yeah. able to kind of, like, catch up. Yeah. yeah. So what we did is we did a visioning exercise first. And so Shannon, maybe you already have an idea of maybe some things that you would love to have in your life and your business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, begin to get the feeling tone of, and the images that you'd like to have. Like, give me some ideas of what you, what you'd really like to have more of in your life. Um, I would say more discipline with uh, my studio practice, maybe. Okay. What, is discipline, what does discipline look for you? Look like for you? Um, probably uh, like being better about um, sticking with time to do something. Okay. Do you want? Yeah. Do you think having a, a clock might be helpful? Oh, mm. that's a good idea. So look for an image of a clock. And then maybe you can put that next to somebody um, who's creating art. Cool. Or, or right. maybe you have a, a Salvador Dali one so that it's art and a clock, right? Oh, <laughs> genius. <laughs> cool. Okay. Thank you so much, Carrie. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so keep in mind as you're looking for images, it doesn't hurt to have the, uh, the feeling tone, mm -hmm. like happy dancer or what it, whatever it is that's the feeling tone, um, creative, um, I don't know, you'll, you'll use, you know, use a few words to, to gather things together. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Harry, uh -huh. I, have a, I have a question. Who is it? Elena. Uh, hi, Elena. So, um, mm -hmm. oh, I think my video's off. Okay, so I am in Canva. And I'm yeah. having an issue where, and this has been happening to me in Canva, where I get the sure. grid mm -hmm. and then I pick, choose a photo and it's bigger than this, the grid spot, right? And it chooses which part of the photo to use. And I don't seem to have any control over that. Like it takes just a part of it because it's a different shape. Okay. Let me see if I can play with that. You continue getting images and I'm going to play with what you just talked about. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like when I click on the photo, it just pops it into one of the blocks and I can't seem to do then do anything with it except get rid of it. Okay. Yeah, I, I understand because I've um, I've played with things before too and I realized that it took a portion of the picture. So you continue looking for images and I'll, I'll take a look to see how we might be able to okay. modify. Okay. When you click on that photo, you can see the crop button on the top. That's what I was using to change the way the photo yeah. looked. The, the problem is that it pops it into the little grid box and then I can't touch it anymore. I can't oh, you seem should, to do anything with it. Oh, you should be able to, um, okay, leave that picture then. So see how I'm picking up another picture? I picked oh, yeah. out the picture and I put her mm -hmm. below. And so what I'm going to do is I'll just find another picture to go over that one. Yeah, but see, it's not. So you still have the corners. I don't have, like in the bottom picture, I don't think you have corners. The bottom left picture, see, there's no corners to change the size of it. Were you to want to make it smaller? Yeah. Right. See, it takes the whole thing. I just, the whole grid. I just, I just switched the um, grid that the thing is in. I said, oh, it didn't go very well in a square. So maybe she looks better in a rectangle. Right. Okay. And so you just deleted you it and put it back in the other shape. I didn't even delete it. All I did is I said, "Oh yeah, it's, it's underneath. It's covered up, probably." They, yeah, they it covered there, yeah. up. So right. I just kind of slipped slipped another picture in there. Okay, okay, thanks. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's any other way that you can resize the pick that I.
think I got the other button that's always helpful is the undo button. That's this one up here. <laughs> right? So Very familiar with that button. Yeah. So if you ever screw it up, you go, okay, we'll redo that. Okay, I'll find some music for you. Play Jason Mraz. So Laura just found out, she says, you don't even have to use the constraints of the grid box. You can ditch it. She says, you can use the blank, blank canvas or screen as a base and resize your pictures and create your own collage. She goes, it's just an option, play. So another few minutes, we have another three minutes and then we'll just take a moment to check in again.
I just want to check in with Linda and Jerry, who may have been choosing not to use the Canva. How's your process going with just doing the regular old fashioned, um, using your magazines, using whatever cards you might have around? You know, I've never even thought about doing this, but I could even write my own quotes. Okay, let's just pop right back on. We still have time to be creative. I just wanted to check to see if there's any questions or maybe some um, cross pollination where people might want to ask questions um, about how they might be able to get greater specificity in their images or their quotations, their inspirational um, quotes. Any questions that are coming up? I love the way Laura actually put in here. Um, here, there are three, no, two different Canva um, examples where you can go to look at bold branding and design with Canva or designing outside the box with Canva. So Jerry, it looks like you're just writing. That's great. The other person was Jerry and Linda. So what I just wanna say as I realize that we all have different ways of processing and that however this comes together for you, whether it's just getting clear on what some of the images are or some of the feeling tone of what you wanna create, maybe even finding the images today. And if you can just with the, um, actually with the show of hands or actually in the chat, if you can just say um, what percentage completion are you at or if you need maybe five or 10 more minutes. You can just pop on there. 80% says Elena. Susanna says maybe five more minutes, okay.
I'm going to just poke in. So we have Elena. Mary, how are you doing? I'm actually writing my chat comment right now. <laughs> so. Okay, beautiful. Just checking in. Thank you. Marilyn, Stephanie. Okay, Lisa, no problem. All right, just do your best to to find the images that speak to you, whether it's in person or, or online. Okay, and Mary's saying she's collected some words and pics beforehand, so she's kind of putting them together. Maddie, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm finding joy in some of this. Beautiful. Yeah, so paying attention to that sounds like that might be one of your values. How about you, Leslie? Um, there we go. I'm doing okay. I I want to go back and do a different grid because I don't have enough images on here, but um, <laughs> mm -hmm. for now, it's okay. Okay. Well, you can always do a, a blank, like the second page or something, and, and grab some of those pictures. And like Laura was saying, you can begin to size the pictures too. Oh, that's right, too. I can pull them down onto another page and, and then pull them down. down onto another page. Exactly. Okay. That, okay. was, that, that was the thing I was missing. <laughs> right. So I'm going to just check through. Thanks. Okay. Susanna? Yeah, okay, maybe five minutes, gotcha. So so let's take another five minutes. We'll see where we, we, where we come with that. I'm gonna flip through here. Uh, Tamara or Tamara, how are you doing there? Doing good, thanks. So I actually just joined my partner, um, saw the first part and now I'm watching the second part. So okay. uh, just mostly kind of watching, appreciate, do definitely appreciate the, uh, the information. Okay, good. Well, I'm going to encourage you to go back to the very beginning if you can. I don't know when they're going to be um, sending this out, but um, it's worth taking a look see to to do the visioning portion of it well, as well. Yeah, that's what my sister said. She said that the, the first part definitely uh, very informative. So I'm uh, not trying to create one right now. I'm just more kind of absorbing and taking taking this in, and we'll uh, I'll uh, slowly work at it. Okay, beautiful. So the concept is just gathering images at this point. I'm going to actually show you an example. I'll do a share screen again. Okay, I'm going to look at some of my creations. So you can begin to see some of the some of the different ways in which we can. So here's an example that I put on Canva that just took about a half an hour today. And I may go back and play with it a little bit later, uh, but it helped, helped me to realize really what I'm creating in my next iteration. And um, so just taking images that speak, using the Canva bar here to put in elements and text. Um, so I'm going to do the stop share, but I just want to share that with you, Tamara. And I'm going to click on the other pages here. And how are we doing, um, Jerry? And Claudia? Hi, I'm Claudia. And I'm, pay I'm in between dropping off and picking up my daughter from her class. OK. Um, I decided to do the old way, the old fashioned way, the vision Beautiful. board. Beautiful. I, I don't know. I like to work with my hands That's and uh, um, I'm trying just um, to find the focus on, on um, my vision. I, I want to do some cooking classes okay. and I'm in the, in the process to, to start our Airbnb business so i'm trying to figure out how i can connect and put that together in my vision yeah. 
I love, I love the way you're, you're creatively putting together your passions. So finding the images. So online images may be a little bit helpful for you then to find, you know, images with cooking, the kind of cooking that you like to do, somebody happy cooking, something like that. Um, way to go. I'm going to do a few more check-ins. Thank you. Uh -huh. And Jan, you're doing okay? I really can't see. Somehow, um, <laughs> I somehow I tried. Okay, I found mood board on um, canva.com. So I'm oh. modifying one, but um, somehow I got multiple photos instead of one photo, and I can't get rid of them. Okay. So what you can always do is print off that stuff. You can print the images you do have and you can do it the old fashioned way. No, but I, I just want to get rid of it. I don't know how to get rid of it. Sometimes I just start with a new board. Oh, that's annoying. So I'm going to do some more check throughs. One moment. Okay. Yes. Somebody was asking earlier about being able to move an image around and uh -huh. I figured it on, on a grid and I figured it out that if you put the image into a into one of the grid spaces and then you double click on it it will bring up the entire image and you can move it where you want it and then click beautiful. it on and you get just that portion beautiful so, instead of them all be block form I wanted you know how sometimes you put a picture this way and one uh -huh. that way and you could and usually in the pictures it has that little button on the top round that's what I'm looking for. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I've been able to do that before. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to do a share screen. It lets me share. Right. So normally like I have this image in the right hand corner. Oh, no. I think because I started with the grid, it's not going to allow me to rotate. Mm. But but if I want to take to adding a page, let's take a different image. Let's see if it's going to allow me to. Oh, I, and I see what you're talking about. Oh, and below the image is actually. Got it. Uh-huh. Oh, I see it now. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what I wanted. Thank you. Uh -huh. I'm going to take it off and stop share. Okay. So we're going to wrap this portion in two more minutes because I have some other questions that are equally important. Everybody who um, has already completed their board. I'd like for you to write, what were some of the ahas um, that you were like, oh, that surprised me. I didn't realize the theme of what was coming up in my board. So I want you to look at your board and kind of get a feel for what's the theme that's coming up in any ahas. And you can put it there in the chat. Oh, I love this idea. I'm gonna actually read this. So Mary said, a few years ago, I got the idea of using an accordion board for a vision board and making each page a specific theme or focus. So I'm using that book that I bought back then and I actually made uh, the cover of the book with Canva. Way to go, Mary. Nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. I don't, I don't know where you get the accordion. Oh, you could make something like that, I suppose. Because what's important is that you actually love that. I wish I could actually pin it to make it bigger um, but I love that idea and I just want you to know what's important is that you use your vision board is that it's not just something that you put in a file but I have mine in my bedroom for example I have a large one and then I have a few different small ones yeah Laura says nice idea um, so like I said a couple more minutes at um, 4 30 we're going to wrap on this portion but I'm going to ask you um, to do a little bit more because we have another half an hour and part of this is what are those smart goals that you're going to create as a result of your board so you can bring it into reality and um, the other thing is to do a little bit of a, a share 
So a couple more minutes just to wrap up. If there's any, so um, sharing in the um, chat here. Uh, let's see, Susanna said, I wrote all the ideas that kept coming up in the heart space piece and then started searching for images of those specific images and found, found myself picking images of the hands doing them. And then I searched for hands specifically, but after I realized the theme and now all my footers are my topics, but with hands doing them. Interesting. So Susanna, you must be an artist or something. Uh, do we need to be pre prepared to share a board if you'd like or not? Um, if so, how would you like us to get our Canva board ready? Will we'll be able to share our screens? Um, I'm gonna see how we can do that. So I'll play with that. Um, you could always just put it up on your screen. Allow participants to share screen, okay. So Mary, just as an example, um, would you be able to go down to share screen? Or um, let's see. No, we couldn't see your accordion board because I really wanted people to see what you were up to. Carrie, do you want me to try to share my screen? I think I can do it. I do this all the time. Yeah, please. Shall we try? Okay. Yeah, I gave you permission to do it, so. Beautiful. So you can right. see it, right? Yeah. So yeah, so it could just be on your screen. You see all my 7,000 tabs open too, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good deal. So before we go into sharing screen, now that we know that we can okay. do it, I'm actually, I'm going to ask now that it's 430, I'm going to ask um, that each of you um, put down the creative aspect of it right now, because you can always go back to it a little bit later. Any questions before we um, dip out of the creative um, aspect and move into how you could begin to um, make this a more tangible thing. Um, so any questions? before we get out of the creative aspect. Okay, you can put it in the chat. Oh, Susanna says, I think there's an add file button in the chat. Well, that would be interesting if you wanted to share it too. Mm -hmm. um, I've never used that one. Mm -hmm. um, but for right now, we're gonna put that portion of it down. Um, and the question is, do you have to print? Okay, how do I print using Canva and do we have to pay? No, you, I don't believe you have to pay in order to, no. to, to print that. Um, and so I'm gonna, and you can always Google. It. This is uh, what my kids tell me. They said, mom, you can Google anything or YouTube it. So you can look that information if, if you need to. There we go. Susanna found a way that she can actually attach it, which is really cool, oh, cool. As, as a file. Um, so. Um, we're going to move into the action component of this. You remember how I was saying that I'm not here just to have you inspired, but to take action. So I'm going to ask you to, to take up pen and paper and begin to ask yourself, and I'm actually going to put this in the chat, come up with five plus micro steps to move your vision forward. So I put that in the chat there. And so I'm not asking you to get all caught up about, well, I don't, I'll give you an example. So when I did the transformational journey or to Bali, I could have said, okay, well, I don't know how to do that. But instead I said, okay, well, I'm gonna learn how to do that. So what were five micro stops? So does somebody have a process that they um, maybe have some questions about what might be a micro steps that they could begin to take mm -hmm. on their, uh, to realize their dreams? If you could take yourself off mute. Or put yourself in the chat and I can take you off of mute. Okay, great. Let's go with you, Elena. So I have a deck of, they're called Soul Path Glyph cards that I want to create. Mm -hmm. And I have the glyphs. But that's all we have so far. I have the images. Okay, gotcha. So um, you're making soul cards. So what might be five possible next steps for you? Uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Decide which ones I want to use. Okay, so I'd write that down. Decide okay. which, which images, right? Right. 
because we want to be as specific as possible. So okay. How many images do you want to find? That's a good first question, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so yeah. Do you want 10 images? Do you want 20 images? Right. So write, okay. you can write down. And in fact, I'm going to, the next step will be is I am committed to finding, what is it? How many images, Elena? Uh, let's say 20. Okay. 20 images. Okay. Um, so another question might be, uh, do these uh, images need to elicit a certain feeling or? Hmm. Um, let's say what's the over, so to maybe this to determine um, the intention of the deck. Okay. That? Okay. So that might be a second item. Right. Um, is to get like a gestalt or an overall fix right. picture for what is the intent mm -hmm. of the cards. Right. Another action item might be what are the words associated, words or feeling tone. Right. Okay. And let's see if somebody else wants to share some right. of theirs because you're just going to come Thank up you. with five possible. Mm -hmm. Who else would like to participate? Would like some help with maybe finding five micro steps. And I say micro steps for a reason because somebody could say, well, I want to start a new business. Okay. Well, what might be the first logical step that you can take? And what I'm going to ask you to do then is begin to commit to over the next week to take a couple of those steps. So I'm going to take you off of mute for right now. Oh, I think you are off mute for the most part. Um, so anybody else that wants maybe some micro steps? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that Marilyn? Yes. Okay. Uh Great, I, I don't see myself. So. Okay. Oh, okay, wait, wait. <laughs> it's helpful if I can okay. see you. There we go. So, um, what's your project? Uh, let me see. Online business. Okay. So, what are your, some of your steps that you're thinking are possibilities? We haven't yet decided. We just were coming up with possibilities. Okay. Um, I actually signed up to learn how to. Well, learn technology, so because it's online. Okay. And now do you see how that's a big bubble to hit, right? So yeah. learn technology. What what pieces of technology are you wanting to learn? Um, Facebook. Facebook, okay. And by the way, being on the call today, you got much more than vision board, didn't you? You learned how to, you're on Zoom. <laughs> you learned how to do Canva. You're learning how to, to raise your hand and saying, I want to participate, right? <laughs> so uh, online, you want to uh, learn Facebook. What else do you want to learn? Uh, I guess uh, get comfortable <laughs> talking online. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so participate in, so you're doing it. You're doing exactly it. You're doing the, one of the micro steps, right? So talk online or let's call it online visibility. Would that be a, a yes, good? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So how do you get online visibility? Hmm. If I were you, I might look into Facebook lives. I might look at showing up for meetups. My meetups might be a, a good, comfortable place for you to start. And I have one coming up this Friday. Okay. I have a mastermind women rise up this Friday. So if you want to join at lunchtime. Okay. And, and then I have a talk with the slow moments network tomorrow too, which is called um, positive uh, or uh, smart work habits. So you could show up on one of those and you can interact with people. So uh, now, now what that we, time, sorry, what time is Friday? Uh, Friday, that's 12 to one 30. Okay. You can look it up on my Facebook page, Carrie okay. Assumption. Mm -hmm. And so now is the time, now that we've had some ideas, um, you get the idea of these micro steps, mm -hmm. pick one or two that you're willing to do over the next week. And that means all of you, right? Because I'm assuming because you didn't raise your hand, that you had an idea of what those micro steps are. Okay. So, and I'm going to flip over here. So um, Tamara said she put in the chat. And in fact, I'm going to ask each one of you to put in the chat. What are those two things that you're willing to do over the week that will help to move your uh, your visions forward? And of course, I'm going to 
poke, poke at them if I feel like they need a greater level of specificity. So what we know, and I'm gonna actually put this in the chat, uh, is SMART goals. Somebody else has Kitty. Um, so SMART goals, this is great for your business, is they are specific, measurable. If I could spell that would be good. Achievable, relevant to what we're discussing. Whoops. And time bound. I just put that in there. So your goal that you're putting out here. So Tamara says, I need to look up a DBA, business license, supplier, business plan development, budgeting, funding, source, just a few of my steps coming up next week. And yes, this training, great, inspiring. Thank you, Tamara, or Tamara. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, so pick at least two that you're willing to do and make it a smart goal that you're willing to do it by Friday. You're willing to do it by Monday, whatever, whatever it is. And Give it a date, put it in your calendar. I want you all to put at least one or two things that you're willing, micro steps that you're willing to do over the next week and put in here. Uh, oh yeah, Laura, thank you. She's like, yeah, you can look at Carrie's Facebook page if you're interested. <laughs> yeah, thank you, I appreciate that. Two steps or three, what did you say? You can do three if you want. I just I, all I'm asking you to do is do put at okay. least two. Thank you. Uh huh. But you can put three if you're a super achiever. I generally in my day to day plan, so I have a, a daily practice, and every day I put down if I was to lay my head at, at on my pillow at the end of the night, what are those two top things? Now I have a I have a long list, just like all of us do, right? We're active women. And yet I'll say, these are the top two that will move the notch forward. And it's not what's the fire that needs to be put out, but it's the things that need to get done to move my business and my life forward, you know? Like, okay, so I'm gonna see what else it says. Change to a more immediate goal. Schedule two or more courses to launch. Okay, great. Create a vision board for one of the courses. Love how you're using that, the creativity, right? Because that's what I did. I did my Canva thing. So I have an offering that I, I got this vision that I'm like, I've been doing masterminds. And then I realized I really want to do something what I'm calling a soul collaborative. So I started making a vision board around it. So it helps me to envision what is the feeling tone, whether it's women and it's dance and it's, and it's nurturing each other. So, right, gather the image for the course info page and use some of those images from the vision board. Okay, now here's one of the things I wanna say about images and I probably should have said this earlier. If it's your own personal um, vision board, there's not an issue with the, the copywriting. But if you're going to go out and use some of these images, you better make sure that they're licensed to you. Um, so um, if you use, for example, what is the name of the thing? I use Adobe for the most part, and I license the images that I use um, that are not my own images because you don't want to get caught using um, somebody else's images. Um, great. So in the time that we have remaining, um, anybody else want to put what they're committed to doing? Because I'll tell you, there's three levels of commitment. This is what I know as a coach. Um, your first level of commitment is, is just thinking about it. Oh, I think someday I want to do something, right? I want to create a business or whatever. The second one is writing it down. And then the third one is actually committing it, actually vocalizing it and sharing it with a friend. That's why I think masterminds are so important because it gets us to the next level where we're actually saying what's important. Vision boards are also what you're actually sharing with yourself and others. This is what's really important to me. Okay, so Shannon says, bigger goal of furthering my art business. So more discipline in the studio, locking in a schedule. Beautiful, we talked about the, the time piece, right? Two action items, take photos of the cards I've made, beautiful, and sell three of them, three of them, beautiful. Also in action items, it's important, important for us to write action items that we have control over. I'd like to be able to say that we have world peace, but the fact is I don't have this. I can have my own peace, right? So what do I have impact over? And Mary says to continue increase social media presence, create a handful for posts. I use Canva 
and engage with at least one comment in the Facebook groups. Okay, so I'm gonna challenge you, Mary, would that would it be okay if I just comment in a little bit? Yes. Okay, thank you. So increase social media presence So I'm gonna, and a handful of posts. So I'm gonna encourage you to put a number to that. So is that five media posts over the next week? Is that across LinkedIn, face, you know, Facebook? Um, to get a level of specificity so you, that your brain can begin to lock into what it is that you're going to do. And that somebody then could say, did she finish? Did she, it's like a photo finish. Did she, did she um, get across the finish line? Does that make sense? Yeah, I would say when I'm saying like a handful, I would be thinking five. I generally okay. little stuff ahead on buffer. So okay. I'm trying to create new material and, um, but I definitely need to work on engaging with um, Facebook groups and stuff like that, especially local ones. Okay, beautiful. So local, that's good. That's a level of specificity too. Publicity for membership, communicate personally with 10 people about your program. Great, great level of specificity, Leslie. So in the time that we have remaining, um, who, if you can put in the um, chat here, who would like to share um, their vision board? and say what their aha, just a quick aha out of um, what they uh, were excited about with that. And I'm gonna allow you then to do share screen and we'll need to share that, we'll need to switch the view up in the right-hand corner that says view and you'll need to go to um, speaker view. And I think that then will allow us to see um, who's sharing the screen. Tamara, looks like you, okay. Yeah, I love the way you numbered it. One, file and pay for the DBA. Two, post in the newspaper, open the business crop. Right, it's a sequential event, right? So if anybody wants to share their board, like um, Elena did um, in, the, uh, in the group here, then please put your name in the chat line so that we can begin to call you for it. Some cases I just have to say, I realize that, you know, it could be like a little bit, like this is your baby of a dream that's emerging and then it can feel a little bit tender. So I understand if you're not wanting to share, but I'm gonna give you an opportunity to share. I can share my accordion with, yes, I'd love to see your accordion because I'd really like to have a, an understanding. Um, now I'm just wondering how you could do that. So I'm gonna allow you to unmute and then um, it'll show the. Um, we'll go up to the top where it says speaker screen, so that we can begin right. to see yours. Yeah. So it's on speaker view. Okay. Okay. Oh, but you know the problem is your lighting. I think. Okay. You want to show it to us, Mary? Okay. Do I need to do share screen on the bottom or? No, I don't think share screen is going to do it. I think you're just going to have to talk, and when you talk, it's going to show you as coming up next to me. Okay. All right, so um, on the front of the accordion, I had done a page with Canva. So is this showing up? For yeah, it is, beautiful. Okay. And so each page, I just kind of like came up with a certain topic. My post-its are just to remind me of what I wanted to look for. But um, company overview, um, work-life balance, We've got support systems, so that's uh, you know staffing and all of that. Oh. Um, education, like um, continuing education, you know, even podcasts, webinars. Um, then I've got like marketing plan, and um, probably gonna have a page over here that's specifically related to social media because that's such a big part of mine. Financial plan. Um, retirement plan, like eventually selling the business or whatever it might be. Yeah. And, um, and, I, and I'm actually going to pause you right there because I want to give others an opportunity to um, share if they want to as well. Mary, would that be okay? Sure. Okay. I just think this is spectacular because I love when we come together is that we're able then to all put our two cents in there and say, I mean, that's a spectacular way of doing it. Now, I've, I don't know exactly where you can get that. Who else would like to, um, but I can look it up. I know how to Google, right? Yeah. I put in the chat what it was named as. I found like the cover part that was in there. Uh-huh. Because um, I first heard about it on a webinar. So um, it was like my, I don't know if you can go back on the chat. Yeah. 
Well, actually, I'll show all of you how you can go back to the chat. So if you found a lot of the information here helpful and that you'd like to go back, you can go across to, um, let's see, you can go to the bottom of your screen and it'll say um, three dots, which are next to the leave button. And you can hit chat and you should be able to print it or save it rather. So you can go to... For some reason, I'm not able to do it. Maybe it's because I'm hosting it. Is there a reason, uh, Laura, that, that we can't save the chat? I think it will save. I just think I might have to give it to you later. Oh, okay. So we can always um, screenshot here too. You know, the old fashioned thing, I use my, I use my camera on here. So Laura's mentioning um, before um, we leave, she has some upcoming classes, but um, also before we leave, because we have about 10 minutes, um, I'd like to know what did you get out of participating today? Because it helps me then to, um, you know, figure out what, what kind of steps um, you got out of it. So meaningful breakdown, what you share. Okay, looks like um, Jerry needed to go. And then while you're putting in there what you got out of today, I want you to notice, and I think um, Laura will be sharing a little bit more about this, um, some of the upcoming events that we have going on. In fact, I'm gonna just take a picture of that. And I'm gonna put us back to gallery view. Okay, so Jan's like, I learned how to do a, a, a use Canva. It's a new tool, right, to make a vision board. Okay, and Lisa just graduated from the class. Help you to move forward in your business. Great. Inspired. Mm -hmm. That's what I was hoping too. Is that we got a chance to actually share some of our boards so that we could be inspired by everybody's creativity, um, mm -hmm. and also the. Um, your vision, because what I find is that whenever we're in a group, your vision, it kind of rubs off on the other people too. They're like, oh, that sounds so interesting. Clear on the SMART goals and get clear on the two targeted. Right. And I appreciate the fact, Susanna, that you'd like to see, use, see how you can use Canva because that's a skill that you're going to be able to use not only in making vision boards, right, but making creative images that you can use on social media, et cetera. And yes, the, the um, Unsplash website is great for pictures. Um, yes, and to break, Tamara said to break it down into achievable steps, right? I just have to tell you, I had no idea how I was gonna do this online. When I first signed up for it, I said, we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. And I said, well, that's ridiculous, Carrie. There must be a way to do it online. So I just wanna say, I appreciate your ability to dance with this and, and for us to collaborate in getting all the images together. Um, so do I have to say? Oh, and Jan, I'm not really sure. She says, in order to save the chat, do I need to sign up? I'm not really sure how that works. Because normally, in, if I'm running my own Zoom show, I'm able to go to the chats and I'm able to save it. Um, Carrie, Carrie? I, just I just wanted to jump in and say that I was able to save it. So when the chat is open, okay. I get the three dots. Okay, good. Where it, down where you would type in the chat, where it yes. says file and next to it's three dots. When I click on the three dots, it says save chat. And then it saved it. I'm not quite sure what happens after that, but I was able to do oh, that. It, what it's going to do is it's going to go right onto your um, desktop. Okay, You'll, great. Mm -hmm. And Leslie, you want, you had okay. something to say about yeah. that? I, I was just going to say what it actually does is it goes on. It goes into a Zoom folder. The, the, the default is that it goes into a Zoom folder in your documents by the date. And then you can find it from there and move it where you want to. There you go. Um, and Jan, you said you need to save your Canva. Um, so you could just Google, how do you, how you can save that? Or maybe we'll just do that real quick. Um, right. So, you know, 
And I love what Joan was saying. It allowed her to open her heart space and showed her some of the things that she didn't realize. That's one of the reasons I do heart math because I've actually taken this, uh, a portion of this talk down to Beverly Hills before. And somebody said, you know what? You should trademark this or whatever, copyright it. And I said, I don't feel that it needs to be, but it, there is a way that we can begin to drop into our body and to access our heart's wisdom. And it looks like Laura is going to follow up with the emails to participants with video link and a ch the chat. So for those of you who um, dropped in a little bit later, you're going to be able to have the, the replay. And let's see if before we go, if I can just go um, share, share with you how to save your. So what I do when I, when I find it, um, I'm going to go back to my designs and we're going to save the design. Um, so this was the, the image I was sharing with you before, which was my, um, uh, my idea for my um, Soul Soup Collaborative, my vision for stirring compassion, love, and passion into our lives and our business and by nourishing our planet, by igniting women leaders. I go, okay, download. And it will give you the option to do it in a, a variety of uh, like JPEG or PDF. I just frequently do it in JPEG. I don't know about the other one. You can um, change the quality or the size. And oh, I only want the first page really. And done. And then it will download and that will give me the opportunity um, then to print it. So that's how you save in Canva. I suppose you could go over the file too, but that's the way I always do it is, is just to download it. And then you can begin, I'm gonna go over here. Or I guess you can also save it here under file, almost always under file, right? Um, so I'm gonna take it off of share. Were you able to see that by the way? I don't know if I was actually showing share screen. Could you see what I was doing with sharing it or um, saving the screen? We okay. can now. Okay, sorry about that. So I thought you could see it earlier. So you can either go to download and I often bring it to, um, I do JPEG just because it's a smaller and I only wanted the first page and then I would say done. That's one way to save it so you can download it. The other one is to go up here to the file and just do save. Almost always you can go to file save. Make sense? So you can begin to save that which you've, you've um. so we have five minutes left and I know that you really um, wanted to get an opportunity, Laura, to um, share more of what's going on with Mich Mission um, Community Services. And I just want to say it's been my pleasure and my joy to be with you today. And if you feel like you need some additional resources, um, or as you're going to screen share. Great. So if you feel like you need some additional resources, um, I have tons of uh, workshops that I'm going to be putting on in January that help you to get clear on what you want to create in your business. And so look me up on my Facebook page at Carrie Ascension. And my company name is Keys to Empowerment. In addition to that, it has, I just want to share with you a um, survey that I'm asking women to complete um, because I'm pairing up with Kathy Markov, um, another business coach, to create a women's program coming into the new year. And we're talking, we're talking about like making more time in your day is what we're calling it thus far. So we would love your um, opinions about that, what some of the things that you're struggling with most and um and how we can, what you've done to, to um, look at finding more time in your day so that you can be the superheroes um, of your life. So I just wanna say thank you so much and I'm gonna hand it over to Laura. Blessings you go. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Carrie. This is such a challenging class to teach virtually and I have taken Carrie's uh, visioning class live and I have to say hats off to you, Carrie. Nicely done. Thanks, my dear. Uh, we also want to thank Bank of America for sponsoring Carrie to bring this to us today. And thank you all for sharing your vision and creativity with us today. 
we will send you the link, uh, the video link of today's session and the chat via email. So we'll follow up in, in the next couple of days with that. MCSC hosts an, uh, we offer a host of different classes designed to help you thrive during these difficult times and beyond. We invite you to visit our website to register. As you can see on the screen, we have an, a few upcoming classes. Some of the, the dates are still changing. And so I invite you to visit our website to get the most up-to-date information. I want you to check out our Explore Design launch starting um, February 2nd. As you've seen in the chat today, many have taken it and graduated. It has been an immensely powerful class. If you're interested in going into business, it's sort of a must have. So thank you all and have a wonderful day. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for your courageousness and your flexibility as we were running through this today. You guys are awesome. You have so much to offer the world. Be well. And here we come 2021. Be well, everyone.